Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my memory spread and this is for the last week of March. So it's March 23rd through the 29th. And for this week, I'm going to be using this kit from Sweet Bella XOXO. This is my first time using a kit from her shop and I'm really excited about that because I get to play with a different format. Um, and something funny about this kit, I was actually saving this for fall because I felt like these um, like cozy vibes were really perfect for fall where you just want to stay indoors. But now with the quarantine going on, I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect for right now since we have to be cozy and indoors like all the time. Um, so I decided to pull this in for this particular week because I am still in self quarantine. Um, this kit is in a rose gold foil. It's really pretty. And like I said, really cozy and homey. So we've got eight full boxes. And then this one here is a bow checklist in the bottom corner. On this page, we have some deco and some functional icons. We've got some boxes, a Monday through Sunday box, a habit tracker, some flags, and then these three checklists or three three circle checklists, I see. And then on here, we have some bow check flags. We have icons, half boxes, to-do headers, some sidebar headers. Um, we have some bow headers, which is awesome. I'm going to definitely pull these in and then some flags. And the last page here has the bottom washi, which is two different strips. We've got a set of date covers, and then these are just, I think, patterned headers with some really tiny foiled hearts, really pretty. And yeah, like I said, I'm really excited to jump right in. Um, as usual, I'm going to start by placing down the bottom washi, and then I will go ahead and build the rest of my spread um, on top of that. For my bottom washi this week, I decided to use both of the strips that came with the kit. And at first I thought maybe I could just get away with not having to white out those lines at the bottom. However, the paper was thin enough where it would peek through. So I just go ahead and whited out those bolder lines. Usually that works pretty well. The thinner lines don't tend to come through, which is good. And I noticed that the bottom washi in this kit was cut just a little bit too short. So I did have to white out um, the lines on the side. After I finish with that, I go ahead and move to my sidebar. So the large hexagon did not match my kit this week. I did decide to white it out. And then I place down the Stay Cozy full box at the very top. And then I go ahead and build the rest of my sidebar. I first pulled in a foiled header. I do switch that out later on because I felt like the contrast between like the purple and that pink was a bit too much. Um, I used the habit tracker to track my working out. And then like I said, this is where I switched out the header. And I pulled in this purple this week header in instead. I then placed down a quarter box and used the bow checklist that came with the kit to track my happy moments. I was really thrilled that it came with seven bows. And then I used another quarter box with the Monday through Sunday box from the kit as well to track my dinners. At the bottom, there was some empty space, so I put down a header to close it out. And then for my headers, I decided to use a couple pieces of deco from the kit um, to mark those happy moments and the dinners. I then go ahead and place down all the date covers. I love the font that she uses. I think it's so elegant and beautiful. And then I did find some date dots from my collection. These are from Simply Watercolor Co. I believe. Um, I think these are the only ones I have in rose gold. And luckily I had this week's um, dates available. So that was exciting because oftentimes I find myself missing the dates that I need. Um, but once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move to Monday. I first placed down a bow header and then I used this flag sticker from The Giving Girl and wrote meetings next to it as a little header. On Monday, I had a ton of meetings back to back for work. And of course, these are all virtual meetings through Google Hangout and Zoom because our schools are closed at the moment. Um, so to mark the first meeting, I used a quarter box and just wrote in the time bright and early at eight o'clock. And then the second meeting, I decided to mark with a half box and this computer sticker that came with the kit. I wrote the time for the second meeting inside the computer, and then I decided to place down a full box. Initially, I put it in the middle, but I do move it down to the bottom, as you just saw, and then I go ahead and fill out that half box. For the next two meetings, I pulled in these little arrow stickers that came with the kit. I love how they look with a little bow. And then um, I also pulled in a piece of deco just because there's a lot of white space. Um, then I used a to-do header with a flag from the kit. And this shoe sticker is from Panda Bird Designs. I used that to mark my workout that day. And then at the end of the night, a couple friends and I did a virtual hangout sesh through Zoom. Um, and of course, it was great to see them and really nice to catch up. Um, and then after that, I did do a quick FaceTime with my family and again it was also great to see my parents and my sister. The girl on her laptop sticker is from Paper Princess Plans and then the um, bow sticker that I pulled in that foiled bow is from Planning Like a Pro. 
On Tuesday, I first placed down a foiled header at the top, and then I used a quarter box with this little phone icon to mark that I FaceTime with a friend in the morning because we were trying to figure out how to use Google Classroom. And then I placed down a to-do header with a four bow checklist to mark some things that I had to do for work that day. I left the first line blank because I wanted to mark a meeting I had for one of my schools, um, and I just didn't want to write the school name on camera. I also pulled in a coffee sticker from the kit. Um, even though I haven't been drinking coffee during the quarantine, um, I decided to use that just to mark being productive on that day. I placed down a full box underneath that, and then I decided to use a half box at the very bottom. I went to the post office that day to grab some happy mail, and this was a very exciting package because it was for my hand lettering stickers from Sophie at Planner Just For You, and to mark that, I used an arrow sticker from the kit with this happy mail script sticker that is from, I believe, Saucy Stickers Co. It came in a little sampler sheet that I had gotten. I then used a quarter box in the remaining space, but I felt like there was too much of that same pink color, so I switched out the half box for this floral one instead just to kind of break it up. On the quarter box, I marked my workout for the day, and then on the half box, I found this girl's night script sticker in my leftover stash. Um, I'm not quite sure which shop that's from, so I'm super sorry about that, but I did do another virtual hangout with some friends that night. We watched a couple episodes of Love is Blind and turned it into like a drinking game, um, so it was definitely a good time. On Wednesday, I first started by placing down a full box at the very top. Then I used a foiled header with a flag sticker to mark an early morning meeting that I had. And then I had another meeting after that. So I decided to use a half box with this bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. As you can tell, this week was very busy with lots of staff meetings as we are trying to figure out how to provide distance learning and how to support all our students and families. Um, then underneath that, I placed down a bow header and used this third box and shoe sticker from Panda Bird Designs to mark that I went on a run that day and then also did an arms workout when I got home. I pulled in this TV icon from the Sparkly Studio to mark that I watched a bunch of Gilmore Girls that night, and then I filmed a plan with me, so I decided to use this camera sticker that came with the kit. On Thursday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then moving to the top, I used a work header with this house icon from the kit to mark that I had to work on my Google Classroom that day. I basically compiled a bunch of resources for staff and parents during the school closure time to support their kids. And for any of you homeschool parents out there, I know this has probably been very challenging, but if you would like any resources about like academics or behaviors, um, anxiety, mindfulness, or even like like ways to talk to your child about COVID-19, um, please let me know. I found some stuff that I'm more than happy to share. Um, but anyways, continuing with my spread, I then put down a quarter box with another bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I had some hot Cheetos and a sandwich for lunch. And then I used a half box to mark an afternoon meeting that I had. Um, the bow paper clip sticker I pulled in was from my leftover stash, so um, I don't quite know which shop that came from. After finishing work that day, I decided to go lay out in the sun um, and read my book. So I decided to mark that using this deco piece from the kit and this book sticker is from Paper and Milk. I then used a foiled header with this flag and a TV icon from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that we started Tiger King that night. And there were definitely a lot of WTF moments where we were like, how is this even real? And I'm sure anyone who's watched that show probably feels very similarly, but it was definitely very entertaining. Moving on to Friday, I first placed down a to-do header at the top, then I used a quarter box to mark a morning meeting that I had. Um, I then decided to mark my lunch because it was super delicious. I made some kimchi soup. Um, the foiled utensil icon is from Hazel Sticker. I then pulled in another flag from the kit and wrote in the time inside the flag to mark another meeting that I had. And again, I just wanted to fill that in off camera due to privacy reasons. And then I used a full box underneath that. I then used a bow header with a checklist to mark some things we did after work that day. Um, we did go to a couple grocery stores to stock up, and then I also did a workout. I found this little foiled grocery icon. That was from a sampler, so I actually don't remember which shop that's from, but I felt like the icon was really small, so I ended up lifting it up and placing down one of those little scallop icons from the kit behind it just to add a little something, and then I also added an arrow. 
At the very bottom on that washi strip, I used a TV icon from Brandy's shop to mark that we finished watching Tiger King. We basically binged the whole thing in two nights because it was just way too entertaining and we just had to find out what happened. Um, but anyways, then moving to the weekend, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a foiled header with a flag sticker from the kit and I also pulled in another foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I got to FaceTime one of my best friends that morning. I used a half box to mark that I did some tanning and reading in the sun again. Um, it's been really nice and warm, so I've just been really enjoying um, taking advantage of the sun and just laying out. Um, I did another workout that day, and I found this really cute workout flat lace sticker that is from Paper Shire, which used to be Toffee Bananas. I'm not sure if she still sells that sticker because I purchased before her rebranding, um, but I think I've seen something similar, if not exactly the same. I then used a to-do header and cut a checklist down into three bows to mark some things that we did later that evening. Um, we got takeout for the first time, I think in like two weeks since quarantine started. It was so delicious and also just so nice finally not having to cook our own meal. On Sunday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom and then I move back to the top. Um, I first placed down a foiled header and then I used a half box to mark that I had a really lazy morning on Sunday. I think I slept in pretty late and I used one of the deco pieces from the kit to mark that. I then pulled in this YouTube sticker from the kit to mark that I edited and uploaded a plan with me. And then I used a bow header with a flag and that laptop sticker, which I think is from the Sparkly Studio, um, to mark that I made some noodles for lunch and did a long YouTube binge, um, again, just being super lazy on the couch. On the quarter box I just placed down, I marked that I did some tanning and reading again out in the sun. Um, we had another warm day. I then removed the full box and cut it down a little bit so that I could fit in a to-do header with a three bow checklist. And I used that checklist to mark some things I did later that day. So I got to FaceTime with a friend. We went out for a really long walk, which was nice. And then we started watching the newest season of Ozark. Um, to mark the walk, I used another shoe sticker from Panda Bird Designs. That concludes my week. So now I'm just moving back to my sidebar. As usual, it's the last thing that I fill out and I just track all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. Here are the stickers that are left in the kit and most of these will be included into my leftovers bash for a giveaway in the near future. So definitely be on the lookout for that if you're interested. And now I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that's in this kit. As usual, I'm doing a quick walkthrough to give you guys a close-up look of the spread and the foiling. And yeah, that is pretty much it for today. I really hope you guys enjoy this plan with me. Um, like I said earlier in the intro, this kit was initially meant to be saved for the fall, but it ended up just working really perfectly because you know we've been home and super cozy during this whole quarantine period. And yeah, I really love these soft colors and I thought it went really nicely with the rose gold foil. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. And like I mentioned earlier as well, um, if you're a homeschooling parent or even a teacher doing distance learning and you would like some resources, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, like I said, I'm more than happy to share some of the things I found because I know this has been really challenging for a lot of people. So if there's a way that I can help to make it easier, I would love to. Um, so yeah, that is it for this week. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, I appreciate your support immensely and um, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.